Last night for RCA, we started a new series called Metanoia. It's from Father Dave Pavanka. It was a fantastic discussion, and we were uh, discussing what are the false images that we have of God? What are the false images we have of God? And I prayed about it this morning, and I think there's two false images that I can often have of God, and maybe you do as well. One is to see God as like a referee, like he's up there in the sky just looking down, and if you mess up at all, he kind of blows the whistle. So he doesn't really, it's not like he's involved in your life or he cares about it, but he's just up there observing what you do. So this idea of God as a referee. Uh, Another image could be of God as a boss, like he gives you all these tasks to do, Maybe you have this huge list of Lenten devotions, and you feel like if you don't uh, fulfill all of these tasks, then you kind of failed your job for the day. So we could see God as this boss in which we just check in with him at certain times of the day um, just to report on how we're doing. And it's like we never kind of do well. It's always like kind of fall short of what the boss expects. So these are two images that I can often fall into. And uh, as I was reflecting upon these false images that we can have of God, I was reminded of a a great book by C.S. Lewis called A Grief Observed. It's a a book that C.S. Lewis writes in his 60s. After he converted to Christianity, he got married to a woman, Joy Davidman. He fell madly in love with this woman in his 60s. They got married, and three years into his marriage, this woman died. And so Lewis said he, he really went into a, a crisis state when his wife died because all of a sudden, like, all of his intellectual ideas of God were just, like, thrown out the window, and his heart was just torn apart. And C.S. Lewis shares in a grief observed about what the journey was like in rediscovering a real image of God. And Lewis writes this. He says, and I quote, My idea of God is not a divine idea. It has to be shattered time after time. He shatters it himself. He is the great iconoclast. Could we not almost say that this shattering is one of the marks of his presence? So Lewis says, like, he admits, I didn't have this proper idea of God. And he says that that God is actually this iconoclast, someone who smashes images, false images of God. And so Lewis went on this journey of realizing that he had these false images of God. And we too as well, we can have these false images of God. Maybe it's referee or a boss or you might have other things. But Lent's an opportunity in which we can reflect upon, okay, what are the false images I have of Jesus? Maybe today is an opportunity just to sit in silence and put this question to Jesus. Jesus, what are some false images I have of you? And then ask him, like C.S. Lewis, smash those images. Lent, you could just picture him with his cross, and he just destroys the false images that we have of God. So I invite you to spend time reflecting upon this. Be vulnerable in putting this question out to Jesus, and then have the courage to ask him to take down these images, smash these images, so that we can actually discover who Jesus truly is today.